Hello everyone, I am Ajay Krishna from India and he is Anta Levintegal from Hungary. Here we are about to present our scientific project, I write out with human-computer interaction from the University of Furman. Following the growth of neuromuscular syndrome such as ALS in this day and age, an increase of low-cost contactless communication systems are required to keep up with the demographic changes in the world. So we worked on an eye tracking apparatus which allows people suffering from these syndromes to communicate by tracking their pupil movement. The main objective of our project was to build infrared LED illuminators and tweak the PS3 camera to control the blinking of the eye, scripting segmented computer vision algorithms such as dual clustering algorithm in Python to locate the center of the pupil and tracking the position of the pupil from an incoming video and using calibration sequence to map the track pupil coordinates to position of the computer screen. Hello everyone, as my friend has already introduced the most important theoretical backgrounds and working principle of this device, let me walk you through the programming and the results of our project. You can see that here we have the PS3 eye camera surrounded by the infrared LEDs. This camera is already modified by placing an infrared filter behind the lens and this infrared filter blocks most of the visible light and lets only the infrared light passing through it. Let me show you how it looks on the computer. We mask these two pictures into the program and it is divided into these segments. This is 640 pixels by 480. If I start the program, you can see that we placed a mask on top of the image. This is the alphabet in our case. With moving my eye, I can select whichever letter I want to. For example, if I blink on the letter S, the program takes the letter S. If I blink on the letter G, the program takes the letter G. These letters appear here in the command window, and these are also saved in a text file up here. Uh, there is one more important function of our program. It makes it possible to convert a TXT file into speech. So whatever you type by using your eyes will be set out by the computer. Let me show you how it works. As an example, I will type uh, hello. Let's start the software. One more important feature of our program, um, as you can see here we place an arrowhead uh, down there and if you blink on this mark then a second uh, keyboard will come up uh, which contains different numbers, um, special characters and symbols. So this is an additional uh, feature of the program. Thank you so much for your attention. If you have any question or idea how to improve this project, please leave a comment below. Bye-bye. Ciao.